I didn't like the movie all that much. There's a potential Iraq war analog with the Empire's use of an ancient Jedi planet. Early blasts of the Death Star resemble nuclear mushroom clouds. They all die. Character appearances are pretty predictable and sort of distracting, and actors from Revenge of the Sith appear. Characters portrayed by older or deceased actors have CGI enhancements. Not the creative choice I would have done, but hey, they have the technology and utilization of that technology helps it make it better. Stock footage from 77 of X-Wing pilots are used. These jerks appear. Darth Vader is in a few scenes. One of his castle on Mustafar, which is like Batman building the Batcave under the alley where his parents were murdered and kicks Rebel ass near the end. He is not portrayed by any other actor that donned the suit, but James Earl Jones returns to voice the character. A character from Star Wars Rebels appears as an appeal to make everything connect like the MCU, it seems. It ends literally seconds before the beginning of A New Hope. Are these two characters gay? If they are, cool. If not, hey, that's the creative choice of the filmmakers. You don't need a proclamation of sexuality for gay characters. This nitwit did not get a mention at all. Go see it. Can I get a mic stand now? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.